Now, earlier in the slides, we talked about the importance of hierarchy and drawing things in cells. Let's go ahead and work with those cells right now. Now, this whole time, we've been drawing stuff in a cell. We just haven't like worked with cells at all yet. Uh, let's go ahead and work with cells now. What I want you to do is I want you to come up here to where it says displayed cell. The default is no name. And let's go ahead and right click and go to cell name. Again, that was right click and cell name. And then we're going to call this cell one. Okay. So that again, that was right click up at displayed cell, cell name, and then rename it to cell one. Okay, so we've drawn cell one. Now let's create a cell two. So we're going to right click up there and go to new cell. Okay, and then usually layout editor will zoom out on you whenever you create a new cell. So I'm going to roll my mouse wheel forward and zoom in. Make sure I can see those grid markers. Okay, so next we're going to draw copies of the first cell. Well, actually first before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and come up to the top and go to cell name. And then I'm going to call this cell 2. Okay. I'm going to call this cell 2. And now to draw a copy of cell 1, the hotkey is R as in Robert. That's R as in Robert. And as I hit R, you see this little icon up here. This is the, the cell icon. That one's highlighted. So now we're in draw cell mode. So it's R as in Robert to draw cell. And you can see this little silhouette here. And we can kind of just start dropping in uh, these little references to cell one. And let's go ahead and do that together. Okay. And then once you're done, once you've dropped in a bunch, go ahead and hit escape. Okay, so I've drawn in a bunch of copies of cell 1, and they look just like boxes. But let's go ahead and make a change to cell 1 and see how it looks in cell 2. Because we said earlier that if I draw in a bunch of copies of cell 1, if I make a change to cell 1, they should get picked up in cell 2. So let's do that now. And so uh, from here... Let's make a modification to this, and I always find a good way to do this is to draw some circles onto this box. And so to draw a circle, we're going to use the hotkey E as in Edward. Okay, the hotkey is E as in Edward. We're going to drop in the center and a radius point, and draw in like a couple of little wheels on our little car here. And before we move on, but I'll just I'll just point this out about circles. Circles are a little bit funny in Layout Editor, because if I come up here to the Draw toolbar, I actually don't see Circle listed here among all the other things I can draw. Layout Editor considers Circles a circular utility. So if you come up to Utilities and Circular Utilities, this is what we're using here, Circle. Hockey is E's and Edward. So I used E as an Edward as my hotkey, dropped in a couple of circles here. Once you've done that, I want you to come to cell 2. You come to displayed cell, go to cell 2, and then we have something like that. And if you've been following along, you should see something similar on your cell 2.